up in Locano, Wisconsin right now doing some trolling. Trolling out on Green Bay. First pike on him today. Nice little fish. Here we go. We're expecting to see a couple of these come in the boat. Kind of a mixed bag up here, really. We're going to see a couple pike, I'm sure, and a couple walleye. Maybe even an occasional brown trout. That'd be nice. But it's a good starter fish. Get it right away. We've only been out for about five minutes and going here, so. Our first pike of the day out here. Caught it on this storm. Rainbow trout colored. Thunder stick junior deep. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more fish like this today and hopefully a couple bigger ones and some walleyes and maybe even a brown trout. We'll see. We'll keep going though. First eye of the day. Gotcha. Play a nice one too. Yeah, pretty easy. Caught on a minnow wrap about uh, 65 feet behind the boat. We're in 11 feet of water. Easy. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice little uh, O spawn walleye out here on Green Bay. Caught him on minnow wrap. Number seven minnow wrap made by Rapala. This has been a good bait all year for us. We've done well out on Green Bay with this bait the past couple of years actually. This is the fire tiger pattern. Works really well. Pour it on. It's a good efficient way to cover a lot of water, especially on a on a big lake like Green Bay, is using these offshore planer boards. And we're just got we're pulling crankbaits today. Sometimes we pull spinner baits come summertime, but got another nice eyeball. Ah, you got to Another one of our lines. Nice fish, though. Another nice Green Bay walleye. Caught him on this flicker shad made by Berkeley. Golden black color. Nice Green Bay walleye. It's your average size fish out here. Hopefully, gonna be a lot more of these to come yet today and a couple bigger ones. I think we're starting to figure out a pattern. I just, these fish are coming up after we make a turn on the inside boards. And as soon as that boat starts to speed up after the, that slowdown is when these, we're getting these fish. I think it's because the fish are a little less active today and they're just kind of following that crankbait. And when they see that crankbait getting away from them, it triggers a strike. So, kind of like a snake snake pattern we're running right now. And starting to put it together, I think. Looks like a good one here, huh? Felt like a little bigger fish. Hopefully, a, hopefully it's a little bigger female. Get the color motor down. Another average fish. Another nice wall, I know. That same bait, we're going to have to get another one of these out. That same flicker shad. That's that same flicker shad. You can see it's just barely hooked. I think these fish are pretty pretty uh, tame right now. They're not biting really aggressively. It's just when we make that turn is when they seem to be biting it. So it's a nice fish. We'll get him back in the water. Well, all in all, it was a good day. We ended up getting a couple good walleyes, a couple good northern, and a dandy of a perch. We've been fishing 
anywhere between I would say six to about 12 feet of water. It's early April right now. It's actually going to be April 1st tomorrow. It's actually March, I guess. And uh, the weather didn't turn out quite like we planned, but it was a good day and we plan on being back tomorrow. We'll probably be up in the Fox River, I'm assuming, because it's supposed to get pretty windy, so we'll see you then.